Remy, how how and and Astrid, how difficult is it to get to the level of being biodynamic? Explain that term. That's the new buzzword. <laughs> and it really is a buzzword. Um, biodynamic. Um, the concept, some of the concepts behind biodynamic are, you know, really beautiful and and, and well grounded. Um, a lot of them incorporate the concept of having a holistic farming system where there are no off-site inputs into the farming system. Um, so an, a biodynamic farm is one that is already organic. And then going um, beyond that, they use the cycle of the phases of the moon to decide the best days to prune or thin their grapes. And so they rely um, on astrology and the moon cycles to determine the appropriate days for picking and pruning and leaf removal and those practices that we do as viticulturists. And then probably what's the most controversial part of biodynamics are these preparations. And there's, there's eight preparations. And the most well-known and controversial of them is the first preparation, which involves um, putting cow manure in cow horns and burying them on a full moon. And those would be composted underground for six months and dug up six months later and um, actually made into sort of a, a tea, a water extract, where they're extracting the microbes from this composted manure um, that was buried in this cow horn and basically fermented underground for six months. And spraying that um, high microbial tea, if you will, on the compost piles or on the vineyard um, through the drip irrigation to stimulate microbial growth and soil nutrient activity. And a lot of growers, um, it, it, that takes a lot of work and um, a lot of faith and believing in something. It's almost, um, almost a religious practice, basically. Um, so I think a lot of growers are using concepts from biodynamics um, to enhance their farm and to complement organics, but very few people are actually using the full biodynamic system as outlined by Steiner because it's very difficult to do that. You have to have all your own animals and have no off-site inputs. And um, so I think basically people are extracting principles like compost, compost teas, uh, reducing off-site inputs into uh, their organic practices. But as far as being a fully biodynamic, it is very uncommon and actually I would say much less than 1% of the vineyards in Napa Valley are being farmed biodynamically. Well, I thought biodynamics was <clears throat> was basically making your own diesel fuel to run the... the uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it involved the phases of the moon. It sounds like something you'd, you'd hear on the Art Bell Show. Yeah. <laughs> um, we actually have a couple, <clears throat> uh, like two or three ENSIC members who, who do farm by not biodynamically. Well, I'll use some concepts of it, and I think two of them are already certified. Mm -hmm. And who certifies biodynamics? It's called Demeter. The, or the main organization that people use here is called Demeter. Mm -hmm. 